Right, I've come down to this fishing lake, although I don't know how much fishing goes on here nowadays, just to have a little scout around and see if there are any photographs I can take down here. There does seem to be an awful lot of noise coming from down there. It tends to be a lot of kids come here in the evening time, night time, for illegal activities, as you can probably see by the litter strewn around here. Though the amount of litter you're gonna see when we get down here in a second is uh, much more than you would want, despite no fly tipping, littering or dog fouling allowed. Let's have a little wander down. Does look like a couple of fishermen packing up or stopping for the day. Yeah, just had a quick chat with those guys behind. Apparently they've been fishing here, night fishing for a couple of days, a couple of nights. <laughs> now they've got a winch on their land over there. They said they've been dragging out all sorts of crap. Now whilst I'm chatting to you, I'm just looking around to see what opportunities there are for me to take a photograph. Nothing quite catches my eye just yet. But if we look here, that's what I was talking about in terms of the litter. Can't have anything these days, can you? Well, you can, and then you just throw it away. <laughs> now I have come out on a grey day. I did come down here a couple of days ago just to scout it out. It was grey then too, but it was also raining. At least it's not raining today, so I'm hopefully not getting too much moisture on the lens. Let's just have a quick walk down here. I did spot this tree the other day, but whatever I see, my purpose for these photograph videos are to show you how you can remove any problems with programs like Photoshop. So if I'd got a load of litter sort of down here around the subject of this tree, well, I could use Photoshop to get rid of that litter. It's pretty windy here. My initial plan was to come early this morning, but that didn't happen. <laughs> I was going to come down here about seven. Sunrise was half six. I was going to come down at seven. At the moment, it's quite windy. I want this lake to stop rippling, as it were. There's too many ripples, because I had my eye on those trees on the other side of the bank. I like the reflection, sort of coming this way, but when I came down scouting around the other day, the um, wind wasn't quite as high. There's a bird up there, not happy with me. Hello, can't see you. I can hear you. Because the sun is much higher in the sky, because it's around about noon, I'm not sure what time it is, to be honest. It is about noon, I think. Maybe a little bit earlier. The reflections from the trees are, are longer. Let me just take another shot with those ducks. I also quite like the greenery of the trees here. Don't know what that's called. You'll probably know. That overhanging tree there. <laughs> I'm not good at things like that. I know what I like, I just don't know what they're called. And I like that overhanging, drippy sort of tree. It's probably called a drippy tree. <laughs> so I'm still getting some of the reflections coming down here and over there as well. But it's nowhere near as good when I was here a couple of days ago. When this was, it was like ice really. It wasn't frozen, but it was like glass I suppose I should say and grey, completely grey and light glass reflecting those trees. And because the sky is quite grey, although the sun is quite bright, I don't know if you can see it from that angle on the video camera. I'm hoping that's not blinding the lens too much. Yeah, it was more grey than um, an Earl's cup of tea, Earl Grey. <laughs> Anyway, I'll wander a bit further and see if anything else takes my eye. Apart from all that rubbish down there. Not sure I really want to have a photograph of the rubbish. Hmm. 
Hmm, now that's kind of of interest, that log. I'm trying to disguise the fact that there's litter just the other side of it. As I say, I can clone it out with Photoshop, but I'd rather not have to worry about that. There's a green ugh, metal post there. Oh, it's a... Hmm. One of those. Ho, ho, ho. I've just spotted another tree right at the other end of the lake there. That looks burnt out too. I'm not going to bother going all the way around, mainly because down here it gets quite uh, boggy. And despite these shoes being okay for that kind of thing, I'm in a bit of a rush today. So I'm not going to go all the way over there. Oh look! <laughs> Nice bit of carpet. Anybody want it? <laughs> Hardly used. I'll just take a couple of photographs of it. I'll never use them. You never know. You never know. I don't. A couple of fishermen down there. Dad and son by the look of it. Now I don't know if you can see across the lake there. Right across there. There's some houses. The other side of the lake and then maybe another half a mile or so further maybe a little bit more some houses and just the other side of that the taller building that's the local church I'd love to be able to tell you what it's called but I've no idea <laughs> I'll just go past these fishermen oh, caught out no not yet <laughs> had a few little knocks like well no yeah. how long you been here oh three and a half hours no still not going <laughs> Good tyre there, you can take up. <laughs> <laughs> and there was yeah. a couple of guys up there as well, they said they've not had anything. Yeah, I think they've been here overnight, haven't they, I think? You, you said they've been here a couple of nights. Oh, I've been here right. a few nights, yeah. yeah. sons were here be two nights before him. He right. Here for two nights, they had one little pipe, but they were carping, but they had a little gold of pipe in them. Right. Of course, a little jack pipe. God. It's still cold, you isn't it? It is, it is cold. You'd think there'd be a bit more going on in there, though, wouldn't yeah. you? Oh, there's big fish in here, though. There's big oh, fish in here, like, yeah, yeah. There's mm. carp over 20 pounds in here. Really? Yeah. Wow. Is that your lad? Yeah. How long's he been fishing? About six years, seven years. He's banged into it, like, about five when he started this 12 now, so... Right. I've got kids who are 27 and 25, so they, they started... I started them fishing, and then he starts wanting to come along so uh, yeah it's just carried on and carried on oh mate a man comes fishing he comes over from Warrington well the other side of Warrington yeah. he says this is one during the summer he says this is one of the best places yeah well this this was one of the top venues in Liverpool 20 years ago this was it yeah it was one of the top venues and then they just abandoned and left it for some reason I don't know why the club's done that like but they just don't seem to come down anymore 15 pounds I think it is for the year We've just joined there. Uh, it's not too bad. Not is it? sound that, yeah. We just joined there, uh, the Prince Albert Fishing Association, me and me lads, and that's um, just a three year waiting list to get on there. Wow. Yeah, £250 pound for the year for your first year, but you want to see the lakes and the rivers you can fish, and it's all private. Is it all over the country? But from the borders of Scotland to South Wales, it is. Right. Uh, river Avon, River Ribble, uh, the River Dee, River Mersey, there's specks on there for you to go and fish. There's so much in the Mersey. Um, I believe like there's taupe and there's mackerel and there's, it's, I think it's quite alive at the minute there is, yeah, it's come mm. back to life quite a bit. You've not caught anything either? Oh, your dad's not a good teacher is he? <laughs> Doesn't stop and try it. Good lad, good lad. Anyway, I'm getting nash, my fingers are getting yeah, cold. Yeah, we've got about half an hour left and go home and start the dinner I think myself. Alright. I'm going to go back that way. Do you know, to be honest with it, being a Sunday, mind you, it's Mother's Day, isn't yeah, it? it's Mother's Day, yeah. Ah, I was going to say. I thought coming down here, yeah, there'd be quite a few. Yeah. It is, it's Mother's Day, yeah. They've so. all been bullied to stay home, yeah. haven't they? Cut yeah. with chicken. You must have to get down at <laughs> five o'clock when, when they've done all the, the mother, yeah. mother business. Get a few hours for themselves. Yeah, yeah. Right, I bought you a Hoover for Mother's Day, <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I'm off a pub. <laughs> right, I'll see you again. Yeah, Cheers. Yeah, see you again. Ta-da. Thanks. See ya. The wind seems to be dropping a little bit and I can see the wind's 
change direction because these ripples were coming at me before and they're sort of swirling and going I don't know if you can tell going in that direction I don't know why but the ripples are only starting halfway along the lake now that does look a bit more promising so I'll take a couple more photographs there hopefully I can get some shots there with the uh, reflection actually I've just spotted another view over there yeah one two three four or five trees there although there is some overhanging foliage it's kind of ruining my shot but you know what can you do in fact I've just come a little bit lower that's the beauty of having one of these angled screens you don't have to keep ducking down anyway we'll go back as I was saying to the uh, fisherman dad getting a bit cold for me it's probably despite it looking a bit warmer and I understand what he was saying about the fish not biting with it being so cold maybe they're all hiding in the depths but it's quite cold it's probably about three four centigrade celsius I'm not sure what the difference is there is a difference but i'm not sure what it is you can always respond in the comments and tell me the difference tell me i'm an idiot <laughs> for not knowing i like these buds right i will persevere i'm going fingers are numb See you, gents. I think the dog wants to get home. It's not waiting for dad and son. You're hungry, aren't you? Well, you're going back now. See you, matey. Oh, go on then. Just one more from this angle. Now that I'm getting a little bit more reflection, which was the um, there we go. That was the idea to catch that reflection with it being more of a smoother surface I might come back later I've not seen any no. oh. really? Yeah. not seen any you never heard something like that it sounds like someone's just flipped a stone in the lake yeah, is that what that is? yeah, just bomb in the lake and then come out but it sounds like someone's just flipped a stone in the lake really? because they plummet down don't they? yeah the lovely fish birds when you see yeah, them, they're gorgeous. Yeah. No, I've not seen any. They're quite active around here now, yeah? There's been a few lately. There's been a lot of dead birds here as well lately. Is there? Getting shot. Oh, right. The kids. Oh. Not good. No, it's mean, isn't it? Not good. Like, I'd rather be doing what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I've done. I've just come coming down to take photographs. So Have you I... seen any buzzards? Yeah. yeah. You'll hear them. They're always about. Yeah. Well, well, when I was about six, there was an earthquake here, weren't there? Right, really. But a lot of a load of the mine shafts caved in, and Blimey. everyone in Wiston felt it. It sounded like a, a bloody big rocket flying over. How long ago and was a lot that? Of people like were getting knocked out of bed in there. Was that long? Forty-two years ago now. Whoa! But Crikey. it's like an earthquake. Everyone in. When Wiston did the mines close down? Yeah, we used to play on there, and there'd be still people working there, like, so, it must have been, God knows, 40 years ago, maybe. Maybe, because mm. we used to get chased off there by <laughs> mine workers, like, so. One of the things that you can definitely say about photographing is people are always happy to come and chat to you. So even though photography is essentially an isolated sport, <laughs> I know it's not a sport, an isolated occupation. It's quite a, a friendly thing. I think I'll just take, I know I keep saying this, I'm going to take one last photograph of that sort of, you see the tree branch overhanging? I want that to frame the lake as it were. I'm just trying to get it, I think that might do it. Right. I am going.